Hi and welcome. I'm ZNSolo101 with another Minecraft tutorial. Looking to make a vanilla Minecraft server to play offline or LAN party with a friend, or just need some practice with server commands, or what have you? No fear, I'll get you going through the step-by-step -step process to get you up and running in no time. So let's jump into it. All right, first thing that you need to do to get started is to make sure that you have the Minecraft launcher and Minecraft Java installed on your computer. From here, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher. So just double click and let it open up. You want to make sure that your Minecraft is up to date. It doesn't matter what version you're using, just make sure that you click on it Play it one time to make sure that it loads up all the stuff that you need to be able to play on the server once you have it. Okay, now to get the server file from here, you just open up the launcher, you come in here, you go over to the install, you go down to the version that you want. If you have a 1.2.3, you go to that version, you click these three buttons, and you click edit. Now, just down the list, you'll find version. Right across from version, it will have a link to download the server version for the release that you have selected here. And all you have to do is just give that a click. And it starts to download over here. Okay, I'll move that out of the way. Make this a little bit smaller. And just wait for that to download. It should only take a few seconds. Now, this is going to come up. I'll show you here. With this right here, it says, This type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep the server.jar anyways? You want to make sure that you click the keep button. If you're not willing to click the keep button, like if you're not willing to click that button that if it makes you nervous and you're not willing to click it, then servers are not for you. And you might be, you might have a better option with realms where it doesn't make you click things that you might not understand or get or don't want to harm your computer. I do assure you that this is a safe file. And if you're not willing to click on that harmful file, click keep then servers are not for you, I would definitely go check out Realms. That being said, let's continue on. Alright, first you want to do is make sure that you get your file. You make yourself a little folder so that you have a, a place to put it. And you put your server.jar file. If it doesn't show up with this coffee cup here, it means that you need to install the Java 8U261 and I'll leave a link to the download for this in the link description as as well as the server link as well So if this doesn't sh if this is shows up white and doesn't give you the option of this here coffee cup here it needs the Java updated So so that you're aware you do need to have Java installed on your computer to be able to run the server Okay, I'll close this window close this window Okay, from here, it's a pretty basic process. What we're gonna do is we're just going to double click this. And what this is gonna do is this is just going to load up a few things here. What we're waiting for is the EULA, the E-U-L-A. This is all it's gonna load up until you open the EULA file. You have to open the EULA file and go all the way to the end where it says EULA equals false and you have to type true in here. This is just accepting their their uh, agreements here and stuff, their EULA, so that you're saying that you do agree. This is an agree. So when you type in true, you make sure that you save it. And then double click it again. This will load up the rest of the files that you need. Alright, there we go, the window popped up. 
This is probably going to take a few seconds, uh, maybe a few minutes. Depending on how good your computer is, will de we'll determine the time that this is actually going to take. It's just building all the files that we need now. All right, it says done for help, type help. Uh, and uh, this here launcher that the Minecraft server has here is very nice. It shows your like your memory and stuff that you're using, your average tick seconds, the players that are in it. And right here, it's pretty hidden and hard to see, but this is the box right here that you would type commands in. So you'd slash OP uh, your player name. So then it made the person the operator of the server. All right, from here, we wanna go back to our Minecraft launcher, click cancel out of that, go back to our play button, and make sure that the profile is selected that you just downloaded the server to. If you select a different, uh, different version of the Minecraft than what you have for a server, it's just not gonna work. So we're gonna click the play button and this will take a few minutes to come up. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go to video settings, I'm going to take it off of full screen so that we all can see. I'm going to go to multiplayer. I already have it set up here, we're going to delete it. So what we need to do is we got to go down here and click add server. If your server's running, name it something cool. Really cool name. I'll call this one ZN server. And then we want to type in local host. Now this server is only going to be a local host. It's not going to be online. And the only people that will be able to connect to this server are going to be people that are on the exact same internet connection as you. So if you have three people in your house or your friends come over and play sometime, you could host the server and you could all play on in as long as you're in the same internet connection. This way of doing it does not work over the internet. You would have to set up multiplayer and make sure that your uh, server ports are open to be able to host it. Okay, once we click done, it'll show that we're here. I'll click in to load in. There we go. My Minecraft world. And just to make sure that it's working, I'm gonna go deop. Dead end solo 101. Now I'm no longer the server owner. Let's type in hi. Okay. There we go. So it sees me in chat. It sees me in the player. It tells me how much I'm using of my resources. And that's pretty much it. Now you're well on your way to having your own offline server. This is a server for offline play, or if you're going to have a LAN party. This is a great option instead of paying somebody to host a server or spending money on realms. If you're in a household with two or three people that play the game, this is an amazing way to have the Minecraft moderate at your own server. Uh, if you wanted a little bit more flexibility with it, instead of going with a vanilla server, you could also do this here with a bucket or a spigot server and I'll probably be doing a tutorial on that coming up next so if you're interested in that uh, stay subscribed for more because that'll be coming up soon I plan to post that in the next couple of months just to show everybody how to get an uh, online server connected to the IP so your friends from outside can get to your server and that should be quite an adventure so if you're interested in that get subscribed and well stay tuned for more if you like or found this video helpful hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content thanks for watching guys